Come Once on. upon a time, there were two little five-year-old girls this, who, as Stace. luck would have it, would come Let's together it, in the very same gin in Southern California. They talked, they dreamed, they plotted. And you know what? They made it all the way to take two of only five spots available at the Olympics in London. And you know what? They're still together here in Connecticut. And the best part is that they realize that this one was against all odds. Yeah, our town is so small. We are from like our town. She's from like the next town over, but it's probably like we're like five same minutes town. away from yeah. each other, and so, yeah. we carpooled with each other. <laughs> like she was my carpool buddy. She, her mom would drive up, and my mom would drive home, even though my mom was late every single day. But <laughs> like we just have way too many stories together, and it's yeah. it's very hard to explain how <laughs> crazy this is, and how this will probably never happen in a lifetime. Two best friends since five years old going to the Olympics together, winning a gold medal and now we're back training together at the PNG Championships and we're just really excited and we both love gymnastics so much and it's really great to have her here with me. Nastia, I think this one is crazy with a capital C. I completely agree with you. You know, it's, it's hard to even find two friends that are in gymnastics together. And I think when you're best friends, and not only are you training together, but you go to the Olympics and you win a gold medal. How, how can you share that experience with anybody else ex besides your best friend and remember that for the rest of your life? And Tim, I've got to call into MIT to possibly calculate the odds. <laughs> yeah, I think it's pretty much a billion to one. Truly, it, it's astounding. But I do know that Michaela Maroney is definitely the spokesman of the group. Yes. <laughs>